have now said I was right. I'm not talking about the television scholars. The legal scholars say I'm right. If that happened in Mexico, we had a baby in Mexico, the baby, Mexico would throw you the hell out. You know, Mexico is the hardest country in the world just about to become a citizen of. But they send people over here. And I'm not just talking Mexico. They're coming in from Asia. They're coming in from all over the world. Okay, conceptually, I understand what you're saying and what you're describing. But still, tell me that. Are you going to have a massive deportation force? You're going to have a deportation force, and you're going to do it humanely, and you're going to bring the country, and frankly, the, the people, because you have some excellent, wonderful people, some fantastic people that have been here for a long period of time. Don't forget, Mika, that you have millions of people that are waiting online to come into this country, and they're waiting to come in legally. and. I always say the wall. We're going to build the wall. It's going to be a real deal. It's going to be a real wall. There was a picture in one of the magazines where they had a wall this tall, and they were taking drugs over the wall. They built a ramp over the wall, and the truck was going up and down. They were using it like a highway. The wall was like a highway. And this is not going to happen. It's going to be a Trump wall. This is going to be a real wall. And it's going to stop people, and it's going to be good. But uh, your friend Thomas Friedman called me, and he said, huh. There should be a big door. I said, going to be a big door. I love the expression. There's going to be a big, beautiful, nice door. People are going to come in, and they're going to come in legally. But we have no choice. Otherwise, we don't have a country. We don't even know how many people. We don't know if it's 8 million or if it's 20 million. We have no idea how many people are in our country. And then you see what happened with Kate in San Francisco. You see what happens with all of the things going on, all of the tremendous crime going on. It costs us 200 billion a year for illegal immigration right now. 200 billion a year, maybe 250, maybe 300. They don't even know. We're going to stop it. We're going to run it properly, and we're going to stop. So people will face ramifications if they don't people leave. People will leave. If they harbor people them. will leave. They're here How illegally. are you going to pay for this? Oh, it's very Are they going to be ripped out of their homes? Can I tell How? You? They're going back where they came. If they came from a certain country, they're going to be brought back to that country. Mm -hmm. That's the way it's supposed to be. Now, they can come back, but they have to come back legally. They can come back, but they have to come back legally. And I have to tell you... Donald Trump this morning said he would build what he called a deportation force to remove illegal immigrants from the United States, all 11 million or so, uh, before some of them would be allowed to come back to the United States. How would that deportation force work? Well, I think first and foremost, you have to remember, we have to have borders if we're going to be a country. And first, what we're going to do is we're going to build a wall. And Mr. Trump has been the only candidate to come out and talk about this. All of a sudden, Hillary Clinton yesterday is saying that she wants to build a fence on the southern border to finally understand how much of a problem illegal immigration is. But let's just remember, when our veterans came back from World War II and there weren't many jobs, what did Dwight David Eisenhower do as the president? He rounded up illegal immigrants and he moved them out of the country so that our veterans and the people who fought for our country have the ability to have those jobs. It's time to put America first. And as Mr. Trump's administration has said, we will build a wall. There will be a path for legal immigration, but there will be no tolerance for illegal immigration any longer. You heard John Kasich and Jeb Bush say uh, that it's really not possible to deport 11 million people. Uh, that, that, that's not happening. To which you say... Here's what I say. I say, you know, if, if that were the case, then uh, Dwight Eisenhower wouldn't have done it in the past. And the bottom line is, it is possible. We have unbelievable resources. There is nothing more important to our country than the sovereignty that we have. By allowing individuals to come into our country illegally, we're doing a disservice to our own residents. And one of the primary functions of our government is to keep our country safe. By allowing illegals to come in and cause harm and, in many cases, uh, death to our residents, we need to do something about that. We need to take the people out who are committed felons. We need to move everybody out who's been here illegally and give them an opportunity, if they're legal, to come back into the country. So you're going to remove the 11 million, let's say. But what about the children, their children who were born here in the United States? What happens to them? Look, I think, I think the scholars on this have been very clear. The 16th Amendment is very clear. We don't need to change the Constitution. These anchor babies, as they're so-called, are, are happening every day. We see it not just from Mexico, but from around the world. Particularly now, we see this as a huge influx from Asia, where women are coming over here in their third trimester. They're giving birth to... Uh, U.S. citizens or what they think are U.S. citizens by having their children here in the U.S. and then going back to their countries. Uh, this is a major problem that we need to stop, and it, is only, it will only be done with the Trump administration. I, I think you referred to the 14th Amendment, right? Uh, the, Excuse me, the 14th Amendment. I'm sorry, my the, fault. Thank the, you. The 14th Amendment. But uh, so far, the courts have said if the children are born in the United States, they're, used, they're U.S. citizens, at least so far, unless there's a change, a constitutional amendment. 
Well, and that hasn't been tested in a long time, and I think there are a number of scholars who have said that the 14th Amendment doesn't need to be changed. This can be done through an act of Congress, and I think that's the path that we would pursue under the Trump administration.